Three area teens are preparing for a trip to nationals later this month in Las Vegas. The Park Christian students have qualified in Olympic weightlifting, a sport widely considered one of the most challenging. These student athletes are ready to overpower the competition on the biggest stage. A little bit more hips, Maddie. Dip drive. There you go. Olympic weightlifting is a class of its own. Keep that bar close to your face. While other strength sports test the limits of your strength. Core engaged when you catch. Olympic style Hi. weightlifting also tests explosive strength. To be able to do these things, you need strength, you need power, you need accuracy, you need balance, you need agility, you need mobility, flexibility. You need so many things in order to make it happen. You're tipped back, tip forward just a little bit. Yep, pull that bar back towards your knees. Yep, now go. It comes down to two moves, the go. snatch and the clean and jerk. Jump. It literally uses every yeah. neuron and muscle fiber in your body, and it has to happen in a certain segment and sequence in order for you to accomplish the lift. Yep. And as you can tell, dip drive. It requires some serious work. It's very technical, and you can like see your progress. Like, like it's so fun when you've been working on like a technique thing and like your jerk or your snatch, and then you finally get it, and you just feel so different. It's very individual, and it's very like you have to work on your mental like toughness. There you go. Keep your core tight, Ruth. Maddie, Ruth, yep. and Ruby compete for Park Christian and EHP performance. Their training includes early mornings before school and Saturday sessions as well, all between their other school sports. Eyes up. Carla told me that it would help a lot with basketball, and that was a sport I love to do, and I still do it. Um, and I think it's helped a lot just strength and um, mobility and pretty much everything with basketball. It helps a lot. It's helped my confidence so much in track and volleyball, and it's helped me get faster and more like quick when I'm jumping or running. So, The girls qualified for Youth Nationals months ago and have spent the last few months continuing to perfect their form and push their limits. For Ruth and Ruby, it's round two at Nationals and a return trip they've thought about since last summer. That high level of a competition kind of showed me that, like, I can compete at a high level and I want to do it again. You got it. Going and then coming back, it just made me realize how much more motivated I want to be to get better. Big pull. While they are training for a spot on the podium. All right, core tight. These early mornings at the gym have meant more than just there you go. short term gains in competition. One more dip drive. It's instilling a mindset. Yeah. And mentality that goes deeper. Whether you're competing in a sport or like about to go take a test or something. It, it helps with men mentality and I think it helps with a lot of other things besides Olympic weightlifting. That a girl. My hope is that everything that we teach them, we coach them about mentality, transfers into whatever they want to do in life. And yes, I want them to continue their sports and being active because I know what physically that, that can do. But I also want this confidence to transfer over into whatever they want to do for their careers, whatever they, you know, if they choose to be parents. I see that already in their teenage years, and I'm, I'm excited to see what it can do in their adult life. It doesn't get easier, you just get stronger.